So my name is Paddy Mallon. I'm a physician looking after people living with HIV in Dublin and Ireland. And I also head up a, a group called the HIV Molecular Research Group, or HMRG, which is a, a link between University College Dublin and, and the Matter Hospital in Dublin. We do a lot of patient-based research, predominantly looking at long-term outcomes in HIV and focusing on the medications. I think this World AIDS Day is particularly important and the lead up to it's particularly important because we're seeing really significant advances in not only how to manage people living with HIV, but also in how to prevent HIV from happening in the first place. In Ireland, like most of Europe, we have a, a very active epidemic. We've seen a 14% increase in cases between 2013 and 2014. It looks like we're probably going to see the same again between 2014 and 2015. So there is a real problem with people still acquiring HIV, despite all of the, the, the uh, efforts that we've made in terms of trying to prevent HIV and all of the tools that we have to try and prevent transmission, including effective treatment. So I think this year, what, we, what we've learned from studies that have been presented in the last year is that the power to prevent acquiring HIV can actually be in the hands of the person without HIV. And that's through the use of pre-exposure prophylaxis or PrEP. Two big important European studies have shown that it's really effective when you combine pre-exposure prophylaxis alongside good education, safe sex messages, and, and regular screening for HIV and sexual health. So I think moving into this next year, what World AIDS Day means to me and what HIV testing week means to me is that we want to get the message out to the general population about the need to recognize the value of programs such as PrEP to try and decrease the number of people acquiring HIV. For those that are living with HIV, the most important thing is that they know that they are HIV positive. The only way to do that effectively is through testing. And the key is test regularly if you're still at risk. We've been running large testing programs within Ireland, just focusing on the general population and it really, these testing programs show that the population in general really doesn't have a great issue with, with getting screened for HIV. In much the same way as they don't have issues getting screened for blood pressure or, or diabetes. We did a program in our hospital called the Embright program, where we actually offered screening to over 12,000 people entering the emergency department, 89% of people that were approached tested. And we got a lot of risk factor data as part of this program, and it shows that right across the board and population level, the safe sex uh, message really isn't being consistently upheld. So there is room to definitely improve our education at a population level. But as importantly, we detected 2.08 in every thousand people tested being detected with HIV. And most of these people really had no expectation of being HIV positive. The good news for these people was that we detected their disease very early in the disease course. So none of these people had symptoms of HIV. None of them presented with AIDS illnesses. So we, we were able to identify these people with HIV at an ideal time for them to get the maximum benefit from treatment. And that really is the message of HIV testing week for me. Get tested, know your HIV status, know it early, and then get access to the most effective therapies that will not only benefit you from a health perspective, but it benefits the population uh, from a risk of transmission perspective. And I think if we couple this increased testing alongside introduction of very effective prevention programs like PrEP, then we have a real opportunity, a very valuable opportunity to once and for all have a positive impact on the epidemic, not only in Europe, but right across the world.